these days you guys are just getting smart about the day and we can't trick you the way we used to do. I haven't done a, a romantic comedy. I'd love to do that. I just like to be in stuff that I like to watch and I don't like limits. I think actors are not actually supposed to have any limits. It's not supposed to be one film that you kind of do. I haven't done a romantic comedy. I love a hot female lead to do something cool. It would never get me on that show. I think the universe will collapse and the world would end because that would be like, yeah, this is not accurate to life. I would never do that. I like meeting people in real life, you know? I'd never go on the show. You guys have been okay. I think the weird thing is Americans thinking that they're so weird. We all speak English, it's just a few words. I'm I'm from Nigeria also. <laughs> they, those are where the real differences come in. Much like in, in our country's relations, yeah, we're, we're cousins at the very least. Just a few words. We were all watched American movies growing up. I never saw myself in that because I'm like, well, they're, they're American. I saw Melamine in Kiddlehood and I saw Ashley Waters in Bullet Boy. Those movies were UK urban movies that came out because for me, like, it's definitely when I saw more UK smaller movies get, get traction. Because the opportunity as an actor to do something different. Every project, I know that millions of people are going to go see it. I want them to be met with something that's different from what they've seen before as to not bore my audience. Because these days, you guys are just getting smart by the day and we can't trick you the way we used to do. So you have to actually put some investment into story, into character. So when it's different, I feel very excited. I rest actually relax make sure that acting isn't the be all and the end all actually you know have a bit of balance have have a life because then i'm like you're just working to die like it just doesn't really make any sense to me that like, what's the end goal so trying to respect work respect myself as well by giving myself ample time to rest has been has been very very important i had to learn how to do that you know? i had to like force myself because i want to work all the time don't you you know you feel sometimes if you don't work now you're going to lose up lose out on an opportunity but then the burnout can be also detrimental so it's, it's self-awareness to a certain extent but then at the same time it's actually learning when to step back like i need to be better to make more you know make more money make more opportunities i can't do that burning myself out trying to scout for the opportunities coming now